Yeah, my man, look at his work and his work look good. This could be me, you, or anyone in 70 years. Like, Damn, cuz, you hard as hell. No, it ain't. You got your eye on somebody. You got your eye on somebody. This is exactly the culture we don't need more of in gyms. You brought an entire film production to the gym, mic'd yourself up, and this is the video you want to make? This is how you want people to treat each other? You have every right to have an opinion and make a video about whether or not you think it's okay to shoot your shot, but do you have to do so in such an arrogant manner, laughing at men, acting as if you're better than them and have the right to tell them how to act in the gym? Could you imagine if a man made the same video about women? Listen, if you think it's okay to shoot your shot or not, what's most important is if you do shoot your shot and that person says no or they're uninterested, you respect their decision and you leave them alone. But what you don't do is make a video like this to bait and belittle the opposite gender just to get views and attention. You need to do better. Mind your own business. How do you feel about me being close to my ex? What? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. That shit's dead. Okay. Cause that's history. We ain't we ain't fighting history, bro. Okay, wait. So what if like you meet him though? Why am I meeting this nigga? Like, what if he like family before anything? Like, family. yeah, we. You f the nigga. <laughs> if men grew babies, it would take two weeks. Nine months to make a single baby. And you're worried about me having him with someone else. Well, if you would got you'd get it done. If you gave me one a week, we'd be fine. That's fifty two a year. That's enough. If you're gonna tell me that across five years, the best I'm gonna get is three little babies. Sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> My guy said, sounds like a skill issue. See, he got a superpower when he does this shit while keeping a straight face. I don't understand how he can do it. <laughs> What do you think is the biggest red flag in a woman? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, externalizing. Hmm. So, an externalizer is somebody who doesn't have an internal locus of control. So, she gets angry. It's not because of anything that's going on inside of her mind. It's that you did this. Hmm. So, the way that they're going to regulate their own emotion is not by controlling themselves, but by trying to control everything around them. Hmm. And if you're going to be around them, they're going to be trying to control you. So, like, don't do that. We have to do this. And if you deviate from that, they get all out of sorts because they're in this, like, perpetual and completely futile quest to make external reality permanently exactly how they want it to be so that they can feel non-anxious or non-angry or whatever. And that's not possible. Yeah, facts, man. Like he said, it's a form of manipulation and gaslighting that these modern women do to control other people. And I'm sure that most of you have dealt with a woman like that. So what you should do when you start noticing that behavior is just cut ties with that person immediately. 
crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's why the What you looking at my titties for, Kai? Well, anybody looking at them little ass shits, nigga? Shits is little, nigga. My titties is little. I can barely grab that shit, nigga. I can barely grab you, nigga. Shit, Billy. I can grab you. I know something else you can grab. Right. Now shut the fuck up. What is it? This dick. Yo, y'all should have a twerk off. Yeah, mama should too. Y'all is so with these mom jokes. You know what's crazy? Every one of y'all do it too. I'll, I'll be on here a lot. Y'all all say the same. Y'all yeah. gotta be more creative. Now, let me ask you a question. Why the fat got the mini bowl and the skinny got the big bowl? What the fuck going on in there? <laughs> Dirty <laughs> suck my Fun fact, Monty doesn't suck <laughs> Oh, that better be us, Joey. Look. They're uh, so cute. Yeah, but you see how cute it is? Look, like she's packing the, the to-go food and she's doing everything. He's just chilling, you know? Like, that's pretty good, no? I mean, I'm down. You're right down. Right down? Yeah, it says it all. You see? We never could be us. Never could be us. Yeah. Totally. How long have you guys been together? Uh, about six months. That's it? It's new? Oh, it's newish. We're friends. <laughs> We're just friends that he wants to... Can we talk about this, uh, not in front of everyone? <laughs> I'm single. It's complicated. I'm single, guys. Bro, listen, I don't feel sorry for you because you put yourself in that embarrassing situation. You did it to yourself. So be responsible and accountable for your own choice. If you are interested in a woman and she's not interested in you back, do not entertain her. Simple as that. Nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Who's ain't loyal, G? Who's ain't loyal? I'm standing on the train and look at all these men. What happened to giving up your seat for women? No man offered me a seat. Excuse me, are you going to get up? What? Are you going to get up? Are you pregnant? No. Are you for equality? Yes. Then fuck off. No respect. Chivalry is dead. You ain't even got no ass. Your back built like a passport. Smooth. You don't even got enough ass to make a sound when you fart. That shit be coming out your back like... You gotta put a seatbelt on your toilet seat so you don't fall off when you take a shit. You know I have have a bitch. Ladies, is it attractive if a man's got a messed up body, tight shirt on, and his stomach is hanging out? You can see his ass crack. Is that attractive? No, why is it when you do it? <laughs> 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 you big belly bitches, cover him. Suck and talk. Sexually, I can probably have whatever the fucking guy I want to. Mm, That's a hard no. I don't no. know about that, dear, because... Uh... Someone in the comments asked, who is she? That's not the right question. Who is he? Is the right question. Sexually, you can get any guy that you want. Fuck no, baby. <laughs> How about this? No. Let's play Titanic. No. You'll be the iceberg. And I'll go down. That was so stupid. That I'll... wasn't even funny. Okay, bitch. Oh. oh my gosh, babe. My lips are so dry. That's, that's going to be uncomfortable when you walk. She's just better be careful if you don't start a fire if you start jogging. <laughs> I just want to know how, as a single mom, you got the audacity to get online saying that a man can't take you out for just food and drinks and he got to entertain you and you ain't got no ass. Like, you talking like a bitch with ass. They used to call me salad in high school because I'd be dressed. They'd tell you salad because you get tossed like a little bitch. Little skinny little bitch. What's going on? I don't know why, but I felt bad. She said it for more soul. You got a girlfriend? Nah. A baby mom? Nah. Kids? Nothing. Toxic okay. 
No. Are you the toxic ex? Nah. No. Nah. What's your sign? I'm a Capricorn. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they would have reacted the same if he said any zodiac sign. And that shit is fake. It's fake as fuck. They just do this shit to disqualify you and make you feel not worthy. But if you know your worth and you respect yourself, none of this shit would affect you. 